Aveda Grooming Clay versus Kevin Murphy's Rough Rider. This is Brand Battle. Hi guys, so who are you? I'm Robin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to episode two of season four of Brand Battle. We are well and truly back and we are whizzing through this. Another huge brand battle of two products that are literally two of my favorites. So this one, again, will be, I mean, you'll see. It's gonna be a good one. Now, if you're new to this and you're wondering what Brand Battle is, then essentially I take two products that say they do very similar things and I battle them out to see which one will reign supreme. Okay, first up we have Aveda's Grooming Clay. This one says as texture and strong pliable control, also without adding shine. Versus another brand favorite of mine. This seriously is a brand I absolutely love. This is Kevin Murphy's Rough Rider. Now they've got their own sort of scale of stuff. They've got two out of three for hold and a half out of three for shine. Now I wouldn't necessarily have battled these two out, but this was a suggestion from you guys and it's up to you really. Now into ingredients, both these companies are all about clean ingredients, sulfate free, paraben free, phthalate free, cruelty free, all the free stuff that we all love. But what's interesting about these ingredients is with a clay we'd expect maybe something like bentonite or kaolin at the top and these just don't. Looking at Aveda's, this is water based. And you've got various compounds, canola oil, hydrogenated castor oil, blah, 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 blah. Then when you go down really to the bottom, it's got kaolin. So is this really Nestle clay? I'm not too sure. Versus Kevin Murphy, which at the top here you've got, wait for this one, diethylhexyl malleate, which really is a solvent carrier, which retains the gloss and moisture in products. And then you've got various other compounds. I would say that there's no kaolin, there's no bentonite. So again, is it a clay? Now, if you are interested in ingredients and you want to look at things kind of head to head, if you head to manfromstuff.com on the products pages, I have a section on ingredients. So you can really drill in. Just breaking it down for brand battle, it is actually quite difficult to pick one but we're looking at clay and I want clay in my ingredients. So the point goes to Aveda. Now you guys know that we have a sponsor for Brand Battle and that is Tiege Hanley. Now I said before, I'm really pleased to be partnering with these guys. It is about uncomplicated skincare that delivers. And actually I should say Kevin, hi Kevin. Kevin commented in the last video and said, you say it's uncomplicated and then you say there's loads of different systems. One, Kevin, I appreciate the comment and I think that you guys should always keep me in check. And secondly, it is uncomplicated and this is why. Now, this is system or level one. There are a few systems. Now, these just scale up. It's adding one extra product in or a system for acne. But if you're new to skincare and you wanna get into it, then level one is your guy. Now, in a box, you do have instructions which basically tell you how much of a product to use. I know that when I'm using skincare, I can use too much. Too much face wash, too much moisturizer, but this tells you exactly the right amount. Then into the products, you have a face wash, so you can use that in the morning and at night. You've also got a scrub, which you will use maybe one to two times a week. Then you've got an AM moisturizer. This also has an SPF 20, so it's gonna protect your skin into the elements, we should always be using an SPF. And secondly, the PM moisturizer. This is just before you go to bed, you're gonna have washed your face, you're gonna use this. This is uncomplicated because you're getting just the right amount that you need for a great price each month. So it means you're not gonna waste anything. And if you want a great introductory offer, then I have linked it in the description and also on the pinned comment. Now you'll know from last week that I now talk packaging and brand. And this looks more at the sort of sustainability message, which we should definitely be talking about. The Aveda packaging is made at 100% post-consumer HDPE, which essentially means from recycled packaging. Also comes in this little sort of cardboard thing, which again can be recycled. Then when you look at Kevin Murphy, now these aren't at the moment made from recycled packaging, but they have a new commitment to by mid this year, they're going to be using 100% recycled material from ocean plastics, which is Fantastic, I, I really think that is good that they're really looking ahead. But at the moment, it's not quite there. So the point goes to, 
Aveda. Another aesthetic which isn't really that important, but it's nice to know, is smell. Now, Aveda's products always, yep, they always smell so good, very botanical, very fresh. This has got a slight sort of citrusiness to it versus the Kevin Murphy's, which again, I think actually do smell really very good. This one has got patchouli in it. So patchouli is this sort of earthy scent, which I like, but can be a little overpowering. So the point goes to Aveda. Now into the points that really do matter, the performance. Now the Aveda product really is not like a clay. You can see even here, it's very creamy. So easy to scoop out, get into the hands, emulsify and work through. Absolutely no tug versus the Kevin Murphy product, which again, is not so like a clay, but it does have that sort of gritty heaviness that you'd expect of a clay. Again, easy, not very easy to scoop out. It's got a little bit more resistance to it. It's slightly waxier. Get into the hands and you've got to work just slightly harder to fully emulsify it. Once it's emulsified, you do get it through the hair quite easily, but there is a tiny bit of tug. So the points go to Aveda. Now into styling, I love, I've, I've got to say, I love both of these products. And as clays, they work very differently. Now with the Aveda one, this is super responsive because it's quite creamy, it does work very quickly. So you can start to build volume, you can keep your hair smooth, you can push it up, and it just works. I would say that if you go over, overboard, overload with a product, the hair will start to feel slightly heavy. So little by little, just layer it up and see how you get on. Versus the Kevin Murphy product, which is a dream to style with. This is so quick. If you want your hair up, it will go up. The product quite literally holds and wraps the hair. So if you want that big volume, it's gonna give you that. If you want the hair to be pushed slightly back or down the side, it's also gonna do that. But what Kevin Murphy does that Aveda doesn't do is it provides this gritty texture, which really does help to build volume. So the points for styling go to Kevin Murphy. Now, both these products say that they are matte, so there should be absolutely no shine. I disagree with a Kevin Murphy on that. They've given it half a shine, but actually I think it's got this natural gloss to it. It's not a shine, but it's a natural gloss. And again, with the Aveda product, there is just a slight gloss to it, but I would say it is slightly more matte. But with a clay, I really want the texture. I want the hair to look like it's got a great natural movement. So the points go to Kevin Murphy. Into hold, you know how it goes. This was Aveda. Huge volume, loads of texture. We'll see how it goes. Right, okay. I, uh, I like the hold of this product because it doesn't dry hard and although it might drop, it still picks up and goes back in. It does have a slight dryness to it that I think you get with these sort of creamier products, but that isn't bad at all. And using Kevin Murphy. Right, there we go. Good, gritty texture, natural shine. And the hold seems good so far. Right, this is a product that I know what it does, and actually it has stayed true to form, which is, it stays as you want it, you know. If you want big, scrunchy, big hair, it will stay. If you want it down, as I've been having all day, it will stay. And actually, you know, it can really be molded as you want it all throughout the day. So, hold is very good. For a creamy sort of clay, Aveda does so well, you do have this great hold to it, and also it doesn't dry hard, so you can sort of mix it up, but you do have a slight sort of natural drop. Versus the Kevin Murphy, which you saw there, the, the hair looks great. You still got that great texture. It feels almost like I've just styled it. So this one's a very easy one. The points for hold go to Kevin Murphy. Now Aveda washes out, no bother, no shampoo needed. It quite literally just slips out with water versus the Kevin Murphy, which is a waxy, oily product, and you definitely need a shampoo to fully remove it. So, the points go to Aveda. Now, price and value comes down to you. Where you live, maybe any import taxes, delivery charges, any deals that you might find, but I should say, Everything is always updated on manfromself.com. I've got loads of hair products, I've got fragrance, I've got skincare. So if you wanna check out the most up-to-date prices, 
you can head there. But really, we're looking at 75 grams for Aveda versus 100 grams for Kevin Murphy. Now, these, I would say, are the sort of mid to premium range products, so they aren't cheap. And they are about the same. But there's one which is slightly more readily available and one which is larger. So price and value points go to Kevin Murphy. So Aveda Grooming Clay has seven points and the winner with 14 points is Kevin Murphy's Rough Rider. Seriously, one of my absolute favorite products. I just think this performs so well. It's actually in my hair right now. I love it, it does so well. The fact that it's not water-based doesn't bother me. I also love Aveda. I, I see these as two very separate products. This one is smoother, this one washes out easier. Easier? Easier. This one is about texture, it's about hold, it's about volume, it's about grit, and I love it. If you can have both products, go wild. But Kevin Murphy's Rough Rider is, is just different from other things that are on the market, and I out. Absolutely love it. So this is a very well-deserved winner. Guys, I should say, please do keep the suggestions coming. You guys come up with the brand battle ideas, so I will make sure that I work through as many as possible. And also be sure to check out Teach Hanley. I've got it in the pinned comment and also in the description, so you can check that out also with System One. But if you're new to my channel, you've not yet pressed subscribe, then please do press subscribe right now. The button is just there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them. Head to my blog with the product pages. It is there. And my social, including Instagram, is up there. But I'll see you in my next new video. Bye-bye.